hi so today we are kicking off an exciting new playlist on ssrs that is sql server reporting services so this series will guide you from beginner's concept to advanced implementations ideal for interview real world projects and career growth so hello everyone welcome back to cloud bi academy your ultimate guide for mastering business intelligence tools and technical interviews so in today's video we are diving deep into ssrs whether you are new to ssrs or preparing for a, a senior bi role this session will equip you with the essential knowledge and confidence so we will explore the most uh, commonly asked ssrs interview questions and answers walk through real world examples and even share tips to impress your interviewer so grab a pen and let's get started so first thing uh, first what is ssrs so ssrs stand for sql Re server reporting services a microsoft server based report generation software system it provides a comprehensive platform for creating developing and managing reports with SSRS, you can retrieve data from SQL Server or other databases, build visually rich reports including charts, graphs, and maps, and deliver reports via email or web, and enable user interaction through parameter, parameters and drill down features. So it's part of uh, the Microsoft BI shoot, and it is widely used across industries so let's understand the building blocks of ssrs so first thing is report designer this is where developers create reports typically integrated into visual studio then report builder A standalone tool for business user to create ad hoc reports then report servers the uh, report servers so the engine responsible for processing reports managing security and delivering them to users and uh, last one is report manager or web portal so a web interface to view manage and secure reports so think of these as a factory designer is where the design blueprint is made server is where manufacturing happens and portal is the storefront now what type of reports can you create in ssrs so basically ssrs allow you to create a various types of report tabular tabular matrix chart and graphs free form drill down drill through and sub reports So in tabular reports, uh, it is a row and column format, similar to an Excel sheet. Matrix reports like pivot table for aggregating data. Chart report visualize data with graph and charts, where we created a graph and charts. Sub report embedded one report within another and uh, drill down and drill through so in drill down reports expand or collapse data interactively and in drill through uh, reports link, uh, link to the another detailed reports and free form reports complex layout like invoice and uh, or scorecards so these are the free form then next is uh, what is an RDL files. So for that an RDL, it is a report definition language. This file is the halt of any SSRS report. It is an XML based file that store the layout, data connections, data set and visual element of a report. When you deploy a report, this RDL file is uploaded to the report server. Moving forward here are some 
uh, intermediate level interview question and answer uh, that interview would love to ask that is uh, what is difference between shared and embedded data sets so a shared data set is defined once and can be reused across multiple reports this prompts consistency and uh, easier maintenance while an embedded data set is defined within a specific report and it is uh, and is not reusable so use shared data set for common queries and embedded data set for the report specific logic then most of the time ask the what is the difference between drill down and drill through reports so drill down reports allow you to hide and show sections within the same report it en enhance readability by enabling toggles and in drill through reports uh, let's user click a report item to open another reports with the more details so use drill down for the hierarchical data like uh, region country and city okay so this hierarchical it is showing like the uh, region is india like it is a asia region then country is india then different city like delhi bombay bangalore so this is a perfect example of drill down reports if talking about the drill through so it is a like a order summary it means like order details so now let's tackle some advanced srs interview question the kind of questions that differentiate a senior developer from a junior that is uh, first is what is a uh, data driven subscription so this feature uh, allow you to deliver personalized version of a report to multiple user automatically the list of uh, recipient and uh, parameter are stored in a sql query for example each branch manager could receive a sales report filtered to their reasons so that is a perfect example of data driven subscriptions now uh, next things how does hand, uh, ssrs handle security and permissions so ssrs uses a role based security permission can be assigned at item or folder level it integrates with windows authentication so you can uh, control access using active directory groups common role included uh, like browser browse browse means uh, like uh, it is viewed browse uh, where view view the report okay next thing is publisher that is deploy the report and uh, last is report builder where create the reports then next thing uh, how can you optimize performance in ssrs so performance tuning is a vital uh, in reporting here are some key techniques like use store procedures instead of inline sql query implement report caching and snapshot and uh, next is minimizing data set size using filter and uh, filters and query paginated large reports and avoid unnecessary complex expressions and uh, nested functions so for example by moving query into store procedure and using snapshot we reduce report load time from 30 second to under 5 second so let's quickly recap what we what we covered today first thing we have discussed uh, uh, introduction to ssrs and its components then we uh, going to key reports type and architecture then we discuss regarding interview question from basic to advanced and then we going through with the real world optimization tips and project scenarios so what is the next step 
so practicing practice these questions set up a local ssrs environment and try building different type of reports if this video helped you please give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update in the next video we will explore real time ssrs project case studies and explain how to present them in interviews see you there thanks keep learning keep growing